in this room that more wants for every one of you to be a senior vice president than Mr. Dowd. Like just from the bottom of his heart, you guys, just longs for you to have the blessings that are on this side of it. And so I just want to um, tell him, just in front of all of you, how much I love him and um, just how thankful I am for everything he does, not only for our team, but for everybody. Can we give him a huge round of applause? Okay, so we're going to get this thing hopping now. And uh, here's what I want to do. I want to invite anybody that is tired that is like really dying tired, that feels like you guys need to really go to bed, I want to invite you to leave. Nobody wants to go? Like this is your, this is your, nobody's going to think you're a, you know, sissy, la la or anything. We just get, it's late. If you want to go, now's the time to kind of make your way. No? Really? Nobody's leaving at all? Okay, good. All right, so... Let me, let me say this another way. I'm going to be sort of mean and harsh up here, and I might tick you off. So, if you feel grouchy, it might be a good time to leave. No, not that either? <laughs> okay. No, really, truly, though, you guys, I am going to do some take the gloves off, give it to your hard kind of training. Okay? Anybody ready for that? Okay. I promise you won't fall asleep during this part, but if you are new and it feels like too much, it is okay to go. Um, the information that I'm going to give is for people who are flat out serious about getting this done fast. And now I'm going to tell you, it is, it is okay to build ACN slow, totally fine. Okay, I have parents that started ACN at the age of 66. They could only put two to five hours a week into ACN, and they got to TC in 18 months. I think that's phenomenal, okay? So in teaching you how to do TC in 90 to 120 days, I don't want you to think that it is wrong to do it another way. It's one of the beauties of the business is you can do this however you want at whatever speed you want. How many of you know that different ones of us have different demands at home? Yes or no? We all have different situations. Some of us can put more time, less time, but here's what I would ask. Do all you can. Only you know what you can do, but then do everything you can. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. Um, I will tell you in my experience, it is much harder to build ACN slow. Okay. I actually think it, that when you build ACN slow, it's hard. And when you build ACN, uh, how did I, I think I'm saying this wrong. If you build, I don't even know what I'm saying. But there is something about what I'm trying to say. <laughs> if you build ACN easy, it's hard. That's what I'm trying to say. If you build it easy, it's hard. And if you build it hard, it's really easy to build it. Okay? So the, the, the more aggressive you are with this comp plan, probably the better you're going to do. Now, that said, I am going to teach you how to do it in 90 to 120 days. Okay? So just know there's not a wrong way to do it. But this is the way to do it and get it done fast. We've promoted a lot of TCs to positions very, very quickly. So is everybody okay with me be, being kind of brutal about my instruction? Okay? I am going to tell you there is, there is no, no room for, um, how else do you say this? <laughs> I can't think of a good way to say it. But half, mm-mm, it. How do you say that? In a nice way. Doing it halfway. You, you can't do ACN halfway and arrive at TC fast. Does that make sense? You have to be all in, all out. So here we go. The roadmap to TC in 90 to 120 days. Now I'm going to tell you, Darren and I got to TC in 118 days, and it was the funnest 120 days maybe of my life. The most exciting at a total adrenaline rush going on. Okay, how many of you TCs that have done it fast know exactly what I'm talking about? Like, it is really, really exciting. Now, how many of you were also exhausted? Okay, I think I might have almost had a nervous breakdown just a couple of times, but it was still exciting, okay? So here we go. Here's what TC means. It means you have three teams, and in each of your teams, you have 200 points. Okay, now, that said, could you get to TC probably even faster than 90 days 
if you got customer points at the rate my boys are getting them. Absolutely, okay? So just know you can do this faster, and why wouldn't you if you could? Because you're gonna get paid twice as much on every team trainer that gets qualified once you're a team coordinator, okay? Now that said, I'm gonna teach you not only how to get TC done fast, but how to hit with tons of momentum and make stupid money. Anybody wanna make stupid money? Okay, okay, so here we go. First of all, you cannot manage a decision that you haven't made. So if you look at your workbook on this TC to 90 day plan, I want you to think about this. First of all, I am committed to spending how much time doing this? Have you decided? Do you know how much time a week you are committed to giving to your business? How many of you know exactly? You've actually thought this one out. Okay, how many of you have never thought it out? Or only partially thought it out? The rest of you are dead. <laughs> okay, all right, next. Income level. Have a commitment about what are, what are you committed to make? I am committed to make $10,000 a month. I'm committed to make $30,000 a month. Okay, you've got to know what it is that you're shooting for. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you're committed to a TC that makes 10 grand a month, that's very different than a TC that makes 30 grand a month. Okay, so be clear about what it is you want to create. I will tell you that when your intention is clear, the mechanics seem to handle themselves. So step one is have a clear intention. Okay, next. What are you willing to sacrifice and what are you committed to sacrificing? I'm going to tell you for my TC run, the biggest sacrifice for me as a mom was being a mom. Okay, now, let me tell you this. Our kids had dad gone about 100 hours a week. They were either emerging teenagers or they were teenagers and he wasn't around for anything. He was missing their football games, baseball stuff, church stuff. I would pretty much say they didn't even know their dad hardly. When he was home on the weekend, bless his heart, I mean, he was working his butt off so that the kids could have a mom home with them all the time. But on the weekends, you guys, he was exhausted. It was catch up on everything that needed done at home, catch up on everything in the business, try to grab a few hours of sleep, and literally, I mean, you're kind of grouchy when you're that tired. You know, and as a dad of teenagers, you got to do the correction on the weekend when you are around. Okay, so my kids' experience of their dad hadn't been great. They knew he loved them, but not that, you know, it hadn't been great. So I had to take myself out of the equation and say, okay, my why is so my kids can have a dad, right? So kids are going to have to be without mom for a little bit so that dad can be back in the picture and kids can have mom and dad together. Make sense? Okay, so I don't know what the sacrifice for you is going to be. For me, that was it. I was going to have to spend a lot of time gone from my kids for a short amount of time so I could have tons of time with them forever. Okay, now that said, let me tell you what's on the other side. We actually um, did a houseboat trip. Oh gosh, we've done a lot of trips. We did a Mexico mission trip in April. We did a Maui trip with our kids the day after we got back from Mexico. Um, for a week on the RVP trip. Sorry, i got to go back into the light. Um, let's see, what else have we done? We've done a ton of stuff, but we decided that we were going to go on a houseboat trip the day before Father's Day. And uh, I called the lake and I said, hey, do you have a houseboat available? And, you know, they said, yeah, we have one. And they said, oh, when do you want to return? Because we wanted to go the next day. I said, I don't know, we just want to come back when we're not having fun anymore, okay? And they said, no, you can't rent a houseboat that way. You have to have like a, an end date. I said, well, if I give you an end date and we decide to extend, can we? They said, no, that's not how it works either because then the boat might be running. It was kind of frustrating. But we gave them an end date. Um, but we went up on that houseboat, you guys, just last minute. Even our married son, because he does ACN, he's flexible. So we had all of our kids, my parents, a couple of our RVPs came up for a day and just had a great time with our kids. There was no day we had to be back. In fact, the day after we got back, we went white water rafting with our whole family. But the point that I want to tell you to this story is while we were on that trip, I looked at my kids and literally at one point just got sobby. Just, I mean, I was on the back of a tube and kind of crying. Like, who does that? I don't know. But I'm looking at him and I'm just thinking, my gosh, my kids are the most amazing people. 
literally the most incredible people, and I, I just love them so much, and I love my husband so much, and I love my parents, and I thought, you know what, the reason I feel this way today is because we worked our butts off for the first three years of ACN to get to SVP, but for the last three years, you guys, we have not missed a beat. Not a beat. We've been there for it all. Mom's been there. Dad's been there. College games that we got on our plane and went anytime we wanted to go. You guys, it is the most incredible lifestyle. But you've got to know what you're going to sacrifice to get what it is that you want. Okay? And do not let your why be your why not. Okay, promotion date. What's your promotion date for TC? When are you going to promote? Okay, a, a goal without a date is a fart in a skillet. I say it all the time. There's bouncing all over. Where are we going? Okay, you've got to know. Lucky for me, when I started ACN, there was a bonus promotion on the table that if you got TC done in your first 120 days, there was an extra 10 grand. Okay, Garen and I were so determined to get that 10 grand. We had the date on the calendar. We knew exactly when it was going to be. It was 120 days, and we hit on day 118. There was no way we were not grabbing that 10 grand. Now, some of you have started in July. I know Teresa and Mark, you guys started in July. So you can make an extra $3,500 if you knock this sucker out in your first 90 days. I would say that's a great date for you to hit TC by. Yes or no? Okay, how many of the rest of you are July start dates in here? We should have a few. Okay, so make sure you have your date and then work it like do or die to get to that position by that time frame. Um, know that when you ask for something to be birthed, pain must occur, right? <laughs> Some of you are like, yeah, TC in 90 days, woo! Great. Hey, when's your next PBR? Oh, well, you know, I have a ball game tomorrow and I got to go to the salon the next day. No, if you are going to have this incredible reward, you guys, some pain is going to have to occur. How many of you recognize any great thing in life? Usually there's a little pain that prefaces it. You know, how many of you got a college degree and there was some pain before that? How about moms, babies? Did we have some pain before the happy part? Okay. Um, so just kind of think about that. Now, achieving TC fast is going to require following the 24-hour game plan to the T. Okay, no deviating. 24-hour game plan. It's all about creating ETT stories as fast as you can make that happen. Now, this is one of our IBOs, Tim Feebig, you guys. This guy did TC in his first 90 days. This was his first home meeting. In fact, we talked to him, Darren talked to him on a Saturday. On Monday, we both went to do his first home meeting. Okay, this is a little over a year ago. But we went and did his first home meeting. He had like, I don't know, 10 people at his first home meeting. Six signed up on the spot, and him and his wife weren't even in the system yet. So we had to get them a team ID number, hurry, and then get these other guys in. We had six home meetings booked from the Monday night meeting. Now, here's the crazy part. We knew because he made a lot of money before ACN, if he was missing bonuses, it was not going to be good. Like, we had to get him paid big his first month. So we were up until 1 a.m. at his house getting him, wife, first couple business partners qualified so that he could roll ETT the next day before those six big home meetings happen. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, I will never forget going out to the car to, get, to take a call. Darren comes running out. Dan, hurry, emergency. I'm like, what? He's like, you got to get Tim to, to do his local long distance. Dude, he's falling asleep at the computer. I totally thought he was joking around. I came in and that's what I found. Like, literally, dude. He's like, I can't call and inform. It's against compliance, but we got to get it done. Okay, so you've got to be willing to do whatever it takes to, to help your people win. If you got to be at their house till 1 o'clock to get him to ETT, do it. Okay? I will tell you, Tim actually qualified for $10,000 his first month, and by week seven, he had actually qualified to make $17,000. Kind of crazy. So glad we got him in that position quick. Now, what is it going to take? Number one, you've got to believe you can do it. Now, let me ask you a question. How many of you know somebody or know of somebody that has done it? Raise your hand if you know of somebody. So if somebody else did it, logically, can't you do it as well? Absolutely. Okay, number two, you've got to be willing to sacrifice. Let me tell you, 
This is what it looks like. Tim Feebig, six home meetings were set up on Monday. Do you think before we met Tim on Saturday, we had our life plan for the following week? Absolutely. You guys, we had our life plan. That's six home meetings. We had to cancel a lot of things in our life to make launches and PBRs happen. This was a team Darren and I were working directly with. So we had to be flexible. We had to actually uh, move a lot of things around. Now, remember that all these activities you're canceling and moving are short-term sacrifice for long-term results. Number four, teach your new representative to play team. Okay, you want to teach your team to be a hero to everyone. Okay, they, when they're promoted to RVP, you want everybody in APN to be celebrating, not just their team. Teach them to play team in all the markets. So as they're building and they're building fast, not only are they helping other people, but they have other people helping them as well. Okay, really, really important. And the best way to do that is model it by example. Number five, teach your new rep to promote their upline leaders. This is so, so important. You've got to teach them how to edify. I went in and did a home meeting um, last week. I actually did a couple. And I would take the host into the kitchen during actually the video being rolled. And I would have them write down exactly what I wanted them to say about the person that was going to present boxes one through three. I was teaching them how to edify, why we edify. And then as I went up and presented boxes four through ten, on box nine or eight, I don't know what it is, I think it's nine, where it shows all the different positions, every single box I was promoting and edifying their ETT, their ETL, their TC, their RD, their RVP, so that if that leader came in and worked with them, they would be excited to work with them. And so the new people in the room would be excited to work with them when I wasn't there. Okay, so make sure you're doing that. Um, never ever leave a meeting without scheduling another one. This is huge. If you're going to hit TC in 90 to 120 days, you are going to have to have a lot of home meetings on the books, a lot of exposure. So here's how it goes. When you are done with a home meeting, you're either scheduling home meetings with the brand new IBOs that started before you leave, or if nobody got started, then you should be scheduling with who? The host, because we've still got to get them to ETT. Okay, so you're scheduling with somebody, but never, ever, ever, write this down, never leave a PBR without another PBR being scheduled, okay? Um, next one, have a daily plan. I'm going to tell you, success is not accidental. It happens because it is planned to happen. So make sure when you get up in the morning or when you go to bed at night, you know exactly what your daily plan is. Most of probably the RVPs would tell you, we have a plan three days out. I actually don't plan a lot more than three days out as far as PBRs because I want to make sure the new people get me in their first two or three days. Okay, but you should always be planned out at least three days in advance. Spend 99% of your time working with your brand new IBOs. You've got to work with everybody possible in your team, but make sure 99% of the time is spent with your new IBOs. That's where the new warm market's at. It's where your new customers are all sitting. Do not leave your business in anyone's hands. Mindy went over that already. She did a great job. Okay, number 12, be the North Star for your team. You've got to make sure that your team always knows that they can count on you. That means you're at every bomb and you're at every uh, quick start Saturday training, whatever kind of event there would possibly be, you are there early, meaning you're there early. In fact, I'm going to be really brutal, okay? So I don't want anybody to take offense, but seriously, raise your hand if you called to see how you could help set this event up. Awesome. How many of you think that might have been a good idea? Okay, here's what I would ask you. Are you doing that in your local market? If your leadership got in a car accident and couldn't show up at the bomb, would the bomb still go on? Do you know what you're doing? Are you enough of a leader that you are taking even your market on as your responsibility? As a leader, as the North Star of your team, you are the, one of the very first to show up, you're a part of the setup, you're there and ready before the doors open. So when the doors open, your team always sees you there. And so you're meeting every guest that your team could possibly bring. You want to talk to them, get to know them so you can close them at the end of the night. You don't want to miss out. 
I'll tell you the biggest mistake I see people make or I hear them make. Um, I'll call them, hey, I'm so excited to see you tonight at the bomb. Oh, I'm not going to be there. Why not? Oh, you know, my team doesn't have anybody coming. They don't have any guests coming. I cannot tell you as an SVP how many BOMs I've been at that a guest has come and they're ready to sign up. I'm like, okay, where's your, you know, where, where's the person that brought you? I, oh, I don't know. She, they invited me, but they're not here. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't even know their name. I met them at the gas station. It happens, you guys. It, you would be shocked how many times that happens. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Plan for success. Plan for it. Have in your mind, I'm signing up IBOs tonight. If you knew you were going to sign up IBOs, wouldn't you be there? Maybe if you're there, you will. Okay? Make sure you're there. Your team always has to know that they have you there to help them close to be there in any way that, that they might need you. Now, you should also be the last one to leave, meaning you are there pouring into your team, pouring into the guests, helping other people that aren't even on your team, whatever needs done until that meeting is broke down, packed up, and out the door. Everybody clear about this. How many of you know nobody in your market gets paid to set up the event? Okay, everybody is an independent business owner. I will guarantee you nobody hits TC as a dependent business owner. It is only the independent that will ever get to TC. Okay, next one. Teach others to present. This is really, really important. Okay, Janelle did a great job, or I can't remember who did it, but they talked about how it's sometimes hard to let other people present because we're afraid they won't sign them up. But no, I think it was Jeremy. You want other people presenting so you get duplication happening. Um, in fact, I actually like to show this on stage because it is one of the most important parts, I think, of hitting TC in 90 days. If you do not have multiple presenters, you will not be able to keep up with the calendar that I'm going to show you. So I'm actually going to have a few volunteers come up. And I don't know everybody's name, but Jeff Street, can you just start? I'll let you come up first. Let's just say that Jeff Street is uh, a gentleman that I'm personally working with here. <laughs> I wish. I wish you were on my team, Jeff. <laughs> okay, so let's just say that I'm coming in, I'm doing Jeff's home meeting. He's going to open the meeting, create tons of vision and excitement. We're both going to be talking about how we're going to grow the biggest team in the company, okay? He's going to open, I'm going to present the whole thing, okay? Now let's say these three ladies, next three, come on up. Here you run. Let's say these three ladies sign up at his home meeting, okay? Come on up here quick. <laughs> Come up here and just stand kind of in front of them. What's your name? Melissa. Melissa. And? Cecilia. Cecilia. Deborah. Deborah. So I'm going to work hard to remember this. <laughs> Can I remember yet? Yep. <laughs> okay, so here's how it's going to go. Jeff and I are now going to go to Melissa's house. And this is how the presentation should go. Melissa is introducing and welcoming everybody. Jeff is doing one through three. I'm doing four through ten. Okay. We're going to Cecilia's house, same deal. She's opening, Jeff's one through three, I'm four through tenning. Deborah's opening, <laughs> Jeff's one through three, and I'm four through tenning. Okay? Is Jeff getting some practice here? Absolutely. Okay? But more importantly, I don't want any of them getting used to me. Okay? If they don't hear you very many times, they don't remember if you're good or bad. It's great. Okay? So here we go. Next step. Um, let me get a few more of you up here. Let's get like... I don't know, six of you up here. Just run fast. Just six people. I don't care who you are. Anywhere. Six people from anywhere that can move really fast. <laughs> that is most awesome. Look at this action happening. Okay. Let's spread you ladies out a little. Let's spread you guys out. Can I get two of you men to come stand in front of each of these ladies? How come it's all the men that ran fast here? Ladies, where are you? Okay, come on up here. Thank you, Jake. Jake? Okay, now you stand here. Now here's how this is going to go, okay? He's introducing one through three, four through ten. Got it? Same thing here. I'm confused at who's who. Yep, introducing one through three, four through ten, and we're repeating this all the way. I'm actually watching a few of his four through tens. I'm not going to be absent until I actually see him at people up. 
But once I do, I'm going to run with the most excited team in this team. I'm going to go. He's going to keep presenting. Got it? Everybody kind of following? Here's the great thing. Nobody gets used to me. Nobody gets used to Jeff. And nobody gets used to them. And there's never a bad presentation because everybody is getting seasoned all along the way. I would say by week one or two, we're going to already have people out presenting somewhere on the same night I'm somewhere else and he's somewhere else. How many of you heard Miss Croissant say I made her cry? True story. That was a true story. It's kind of bad. I thought she was crying because she was emotionally so excited about what was happening. I didn't know she was mad at me. Okay? But it was a good thing. It was a really good thing because she did over 40 reps her first month. There's no way with all my other teams I could have done all those presentations. Okay? So anyway, go ahead and sit down. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Um, don't wait for anyone else to build your team. Don't wait for them to schedule appointments. Don't wait for them to launch them. Don't wait for them to follow up. This, none of it. You got to make sure that you are not waiting for anybody. That wasn't the next one, though. Um, follow up. Number eight. You've got to follow up with every guest that comes to any presentation you're at. Write this down. 75% of your IBOs will come from follow up. That means if you are not following up, 75% of your team is not even in existence. Isn't that a scary thought? Just think about that. Some of us are like, oh my gosh, I am so annoyed with Jake. Like, dude, he's an ETL. I keep trying to have home presentations. I go, only one person comes or nobody shows. Fact is, Jake's first two PBRs, he had 10 guests each at, but I never got on the phone and followed up with any of them. He has people ready to sign up. It's just they're not because I never did the follow-up part. You guys have RVPs, all of us do, me included, that have been at our presentations that if somebody would have just picked up the phone and made a follow-up, they'd already be RVP in your organization, guys. You want to know how I know this? I'm one of them. If Mindy had not followed up with me, I don't actually think I ever would have done it because I was too scared. It, I needed a little bit of a push, okay? So make sure you're doing the follow-up. Use the buddy system. Take somebody with you every time you present, even if they're not part of that exact team. Take them when you launch so that everybody's learning how you do things. Be willing yourself to present ASAP. Okay, you don't want to have to wait on anybody else's schedule. You want to make sure that you can get in and follow that 24-hour game plan. If your TC is booked for a week and you just had somebody start, you better be having a home meeting for them in the next two to three days. It's going to be up to you. Okay, um, don't wait for anyone else to build your team. I think we did that one. Somehow I skipped some of these here. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so let's make an actual roadmap to TC here. Here we go. Week number one, get qualified. You're also going to make a list of 100 names and numbers. Did I say 100? I did. I said 100. Now, if I was willing to give everybody here, even if you've been in the business for a long time, $1,000 for every name and number you could put on a piece of paper, how many of you think you could put 100 names on a piece of paper? Absolutely. Okay? So, everybody do that. Next, you're going to want to contact at least 50 people, whatever it takes, to ensure that at least 15 people see the presentation throughout the week. Okay? So the more the better, you're going to want to do this through home meetings, two-on-ones, the weekly opportunity meeting, or training. Okay, so this would be week one. There you are, you're qualified, 15 to 20 people in front of the business. Okay, week one continues. You're going to want to follow up, sign up, and launch three IBOs with your upline's assistance. Now, what if you don't have the assistance of your upline? Who's the CEO of your company? So is it okay for you to just do it? Absolutely. Okay. Um, next, you're going to acquire 25 additional customer points by using the home survey sheet or whatever you have to do, but you got to get it done. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I would bet it's going to take you maybe a maximum of three hours to get these points done whenever you do them. How many of you know I'm, I'm right, what I'm saying? Any of you that have all your points done? Okay, so whether you do it day one or day 20 or day 30, it's still going to take the same three hours. So do it right away because it's going to give you a ridiculous 
awesome success story that you can start talking about, okay? It will be your best friend to be able to get your quick start bonus and talk about how you already made a grand in your first week working this part-time around what you do, okay? Um, leaders, where are the leaders here? Okay, that was lame. Where are the leaders? That means we have like 10 leaders in here. There we go. Leaders, you have a responsibility. How many of you know there is a responsibility of leadership? Okay, when we take that 499, we cannot take that lightly. Somebody is literally trusting us with their life. Literally, they believe that we are going to assist them into achieving something incredible. Don't you think they deserve for us to sit with them for an hour or two or whatever it takes and help them get this done? How many of you think your new IBOs are worth a couple hours of your time so that you can help give them a thousand dollar story? Absolutely. Okay. So leaders, write this down. If I want to make a lot of money, I need to get my mind off of me and 100% be committed to helping my new IBOs get a success story, whatever it takes. Even if it's uncomfortable for you to sit there and make customer calls with them, or if it's uncomfortable for you to go to their neighbors with them, you've got to do whatever it takes. Because I'm telling you, once you have one hot story in your team, oh, you guys, it is sick. It is game over. Roy Anderson and I were talking up in the room at dinner. And we're like, man, once you get one story, you can live off that story. Because you talk about that story at every PBR. You have that creating more stories. And before you know it, People just think it's what happens to everybody, and it does start happening to everybody. It's incredible, okay? So here we go. Um, that would actually generate your first $1,000 bonus if you started in July. That's your quick start bonus. That's you, Gary, Karen, and Paul, okay? So follow up, sign up, and launch free IBOs with Uplines Assistance. Acquire 25 additional customer points. And this is really kind of what your, your um, calendar would look like, okay? I just did kind of a sample for you, so we'll say, um, I don't know what day of the week that is. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, it looks like Wednesday. So Wednesday at 6 o'clock, you're having your own PBR. On Thursday, you go to the weekly bomb. Maybe you take your guests from the PBR to the bomb. On Friday, you've actually signed up Gary and Paul, so you're launching one at 6 and one at 8. On Saturday, you're going to Saturday training with all of them. I talked about sacrifice, and you heard me talk about with Jake and Tim. I told them, don't even start if you're not going to quick start. In fact, I told them not even to start if they weren't going to come to Palm Desert. Okay? Um, so, so get your people to training. Then at 5 p.m. launch for Karen. How many of you think that looks like a pretty good first week? Yeah, that earned you your $1,000 bonus. That was awesome. Okay, week two. You want to have at least one home meeting for Gary, Karen, and Paul, and then you're going to follow up. Who's going to follow up? You are, okay? You're going to follow up. You're going to sign up and launch two new IBOs for each of them. You're going to tie everyone into the BOM, getting their guests that didn't sign up to come back for a second exposure, and then Saturday training, okay? So you're going to... Um, Let's see, it's going to show that you put 15 people in front of the business your first week. You have eight customers and three IBOs. And let's see. There you go. Okay, so actually you brought on two, four, six new IBOs week number two. And as an executive team trainer, that would have made you another $1,000. Okay, so you'd actually be sitting at uh, 2000 with your quick start bonus, which is pretty good. There it is. There's your quick start bonus. And this is actually what your second week calendar would look like. I mean, it's, it looks a little crazy. You can see week two is getting a little scarier than week one. So on um, Tuesday or, or Wednesday or Monday, whatever day that is. Darren, can you see what day that is from over there? Is it Monday? <laughs> okay. I think it's Tuesday, but maybe it's Monday. Okay, so Monday, Karen has a 6 o'clock PBR. An 8 o'clock PBR with Paul, never do 7 o'clock. So if you're doing the TC run, you have to have your PBRs at 6 and 8. So you can do 2 and a night, okay? 
always 6 and 8 o'clock. Um, and then obviously Tuesday night you have an 8 p.m. or Wednesday night, whatever day that is. Wednesday you're having an 8 p.m. for Gary. Thursday you're doing a noon launch. Be open to the idea, even with a full-time job, you can launch somebody at noon by phone or meet them on their lunch break, whatever it takes. That's for Karen's new people. Then you're tying everybody into the weekly bomb. On Friday, you're doing an 8 p.m. launch or 8 a.m. launch before work for Gary's people. And then you're doing a 7 p.m. launch for Paul's people. You're taking everybody to Saturday training from 9 to 12. So you see why you have to be committed if you're going to run this back. You see your calendar starting to get a little hairy. It's kind of fun. Whew, makes me excited. Okay. So here's how, you, I want to make sure you can see how you made that $1,000 TCAP bonus that second week. It's laid out right here. Because you were in ETT, when those six people came in and got qualified, that gave you a $1,000 bonus. And again, um, you're seeing you made your 1,000 quick start. You've also made a 1,000 in TCAP bonuses. And now you actually have just hit ETL. And if you started in July, that made you another 1500 so you're sitting at $3,500 in bonuses, and what week are we on? We're ending week two. How many of you would say that's a pretty sick story? Okay, the PBRs are key. Do not let people sit without PBRs, you guys. You've got to push. You've got to make those PBRs happen for them in that five-day window that I talked about earlier today. You have five days to have them at PBR and qualify them or plan on them being MIA, okay? Um, week two continued. Contact 25 more of your own prospects. Why would why would we do this? I mean, doesn't it look like the team is going good? Yeah. How many ETLs do we have here? Stand up if you're an ETL. Okay. I want you to stay standing. Awesome, by the way. I want you to stay standing if you've ever had a special needs leg as an ETL. <laughs> like a stubby leg, okay? Don't you think before that leg gets stubby, it would be smart to keep filling this? Okay. Also, if you don't contact your contacts, guess who's going to contact them? <laughs> somebody else. No, somebody else. It happens all the time. I'll see Joe and, and in watch Bob, and Joe like almost has a heart attack because Bob's sitting with Jim. He's like, crap, Bob should have been mine. What? Okay, no, you better talk to everybody because somebody else is going to talk to them. Okay, go ahead and sit down. All right, you're going to plug those prospects in. Week three continued. Follow up and launch two to three IBOs from your eight personal prospects that you brought. Also, help the IBOs from week two that came in to have a home meeting and sign up two IBOs each. So let me ask you this. If Gary, Karen, and Paul aren't going to do these home meetings, are you still going? Absolutely, you're going to those meetings. Now, what if Gary, Karen, and Paul are going? Are you going to any of them? Okay, write this down. My calendar needs to be full. I need to be at as many home meetings as I possibly can. You, you want to be doing PBRs if you can, six and eight, every night you possibly can, you guys, if you're doing the TC run. Now, hopefully, you have people doing other meetings than you're doing. But if there aren't enough going on that there's enough for two to do, you better be going to the ones that are doing. Because here's the deal. What if, just what if, I have an IBO on my team that on a leadership scale between 1 and 10, 10 being a high, that leader is only a 5 or a 6, and they have a 10 show up at their home meeting. And the ETT going in is maybe only a six or a seven. Do you think it's going to be easier for me to, to land them into the business or for them to? Absolutely. Is it possible that I could miss somebody really, really good? Absolutely. Now, is it possible that if they're hungry enough, they'll still get in with the five or the six? Absolutely. Okay. But it's always best to be there if you can. Okay. Also, especially uh, some of you ETLs that might be starting your 90-day run today. Maybe you're stuck and you're like, okay, I'm starting 90 days from today. Let's go. We're going to get this thing knocked out. Some of you recognize leadership qualities a lot better than some of your brand new IBOs or some of your new ETTs. So do not the leader. Be at every presentation that you can possibly be at, okay? Um, 
I think I already read this slide. Uh, there we go. It's just showing the money. So week three, you would have brought in 12 new IBOs minimum. And as an ETL, that would have made you $1,500 in team customer acquisition bonuses. Okay, that's pretty awesome. So here's what your calendar kind of might have looked like on week three. It's getting a little crazy. On Monday, you have a six and, a, and an eight o'clock PBR in Gary's team for two of his new IBOs. On Monday, you're doing a noon PBR for Karen uh, for one of her new IBOs. At 6 p.m., you're doing a presentation for one of Karen's new IBOs. On Wednesday, you're doing a 6 o'clock PBR for one of Paul's IBOs. And at 8 p.m., for another one of Paul's IBOs. Now, here's the cool thing. Well, I'm working with Paul, or you're working with Paul on Wednesday. You know, Karen or Gary might be in another team doing their own PBR somewhere, because we've already had them up presenting. So we could already be having multiple home meetings going on here. On Thursday, we're, we're launching Paul at, Paul's person at noon, and then we're all going to the weekly bomb. On Friday, we have a launch for Gary at noon, a 6 o'clock and an 8 o'clock launch as well. And then on um, Saturday, we're taking everybody to training. We're going to do another launch at noon right after training, and we're going to do a PBR that night for Gary. How many of you would say this, this calendar is filling up? Okay. This is getting juicy, you guys. This is getting good. This is where it gets really scary, but in a good way, okay? Now, how many of you would say that you can see now why I said you're going to have to be willing to make some sacrifices? Okay? Absolutely. But you guys can do it. Darren and I did PC in 120 days, and that was with two businesses, him gone 100 to 120 hours a week, four kids that were all in sports, church stuff, crazy schedules, you guys, crazy, but we still did it, okay? Um, next slide. It's just showing how you made that $1,500 in, in team customer acquisition bonuses. You can see that right there. So you're actually sitting at $5,000 so far. You guys think this is looking pretty good? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, bonus tip. Use the buddy system, okay? Have each sponsoring IBO and upline come to PBRs of new IBOs, and they can invite as well. So if you have somebody that maybe came in week one, Mary, maybe Gary, Karen, or Paul wants a PBR, have them invite to somebody in their teams. There's not going to be time to go back to them. We've got to have them bring into the ones in their teams. Have IBOs come to launch with you. Duplicate yourself. Make sure you're always teaching. You've got to be a good coach. Week three continued. Tie everyone into a weekly BOM and Saturday training. Write this down. Saturday training is the most important of the week. Okay? If you are not promoting going to and taking your new IBOs to Saturday training, you guys are building a team that's like building a house of a deck of cards. Okay? You're probably experiencing rep replacement every month if you're not doing this. You want trained people. Think about bringing on 10 people even into just a regular company. What if you owned a McDonald's? Can you imagine 10 employees starting and, and not having them go to any kind of a training? Your restaurant would be a mess. Okay, Your business is going to be a mess if you do not have trained people. I, I don't understand. I'll, I'll hear people say to their, their brand new IBOs, hey, Saturday is training. Can you be there? Oh, no, you know, I've got to, oh, okay, well, maybe next week. No, no, okay. You know what? Maybe you're not ready to start. You know, I don't think you're going to have any success without without attending a training. What can we do to make it a win-win? You know, what time is your event? Oh, it's at, oh, it's at 8 o'clock. Good. So you'll be done by 10? Good. Okay, can you meet me there at 10? I'd rather have you there for part of it than none of it. Does that make sense? Figure out how you guys can make it happen. Um, let's see. Contact at least 24 more personal prospects. Get seven more personal prospects to see the ACN presentation, whatever it takes, whether it's PBRs or BOMs. Have your new IBO start presenting as soon as possible and keep it really simple on the presenting. Okay, don't overwhelm them. If they're just reading off the sheet, it's perfect. You can't say the wrong thing to the right person or the right thing to the wrong one, okay? Um, have your ETT start launching their new reps when they're ready. So first you do the launch and they watch, then they do it and you watch, and then they're ready to launch on their own with someone in their team. Duplication is the key. Week number four. You want to be following up, personally sponsoring two IBOs from, this, from seven prospects. Help your team each sponsor one or two more IBOs. Have a home meeting for all your new IBOs. Other IBOs can plug into PBRs. 
tie everyone into the bomb and Saturday training again. Always, always, always duplicate, underline it, circle it, duplicate, duplicate, duplicate yourself. Remember, when you have 15 ETPs, ETLs outputting 10 people in their business a month, you as a TC bring in 150 IBOs. That's 100 QTTs, which is $30,000 in bonuses. Make it a goal to get five people in each leg running for TC, get them presenting effectively, closing and following up effectively, and launching effectively. Okay, this is showing eight IBOs coming in under each one of your teams for a total of 24 new IBOs coming in week four. That's $4,500 in bonuses as an ETL, more than what you had. That is actually a $9,500 first month. Okay, we have a few people in our team that actually have done that. We have Jocelyn and Tony Driscoll, um, RVPs in our team, you guys, incredible leaders. Um, qualified for over $10,000 in bonuses their first four weeks. Amy and Frank Frazier, $10,200 their first four weeks. Um, gosh, I, I could go on and on. I'm kind of going blank, but you guys, tons and tons of people in our team have done this. I will tell you the Driscoll Kit TC in less than four months. Amy and Frank Frazier did it in less than four months. I can't remember what Jocelyn and Tony made their first month at Team Coordinator, but I know Amy and Frank Frazier bonused out $38,000 their first full month at Team Coordinator. Kind of crazy stuff. Darren and I bonus 9,400 our first month in ACN. Our first month, full month as Team Coordinators bonus over $30,000. So again, just know what you're asking for. I mean, I don't know where you go in corporate America where you have no, um, no expertise in the industry and you could expect within four months with a company to, bonus, to be making that kind of income. A month that's a lot of money so I will just tell you remember that you're wanting something very big there is going to be a little pain if you're going to get it that quickly does that make sense to everybody doesn't it only seem fair that you should have to do a lot of work for that kind of a bonus that's that's a lot of money you guys I thought I was like wealthy wealthy well I thought I was a millionaire when I made thirty thousand dollars in a month I still think it's a lot of money okay so here we go. By following this plan, you should hit TC in 60 to 120 days with massive momentum. Here should be kind of your results. Month one, 21 plus IBOs will join your business. Month two, 42 plus IBOs will join your business. Month three, 84 will join your business. Month four, 150 plus IBOs will join your business. As a TC, 50 qualified team trainers equals $14,500. 100 qualified team trainers equals 30 grand. Okay, woo, that's right. Okay, my checklist had to be Jordan. My checklist, here it is, ready? Number one, learn to present the ACN opportunity. Simplicity is best, just read the page. Master how to launch new IBOs in action. Get your 50 points so that you can be an expert at helping other people get their points and so you don't miss any bonuses. Become a closer and be effective at follow-up. Be the biggest recruiter on your team. Be the biggest promoter on your team. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, you guys. There is a light, okay? I want you to just... I just have to tell you, I so wish that you could step into an SVP shoes for a week or a month or a quarter or a year. I can't even explain to you, I can't even explain to you, um, and, I, and I'm not saying life is perfect, it's not. The same wind blows on everybody, we know this, right? Personal things, we all have kids, we all have families, illness, you can't stop any of that. But I will tell you that life is lighter when you're making a million dollars a year residually and the bonuses are on top of that. Does that make sense to everyone? Okay. Now, I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to give you some tips to TC that aren't on here. Number one. If you don't love God, you're not going to like what I say. But someday you're going to know he's God and then you'll get it. Okay? Maybe.
But here's what I will tell you. Let God be a part of your business. Okay? Build your business for the right reasons. Build them for the right reasons. Care about the people that are in your team. Um, you know, the, the blessing that Mindy and Jeremy Diebel have given us, you guys, I can't even explain it to you. I, ca I can't even tell you what it's like to have my kids love their dad and know their dad. I'm so thankful to Mindy and Jeremy. I, I, it's beyond words. The experiences we've had with our kids, the places we've gone with them, the mission trips we've taken with them. And I'm so grateful that when Mindy took my $499, that she cared enough about me and she was committed enough to me to work her butt off to help me win. Do you know that girl was on an airplane the week she signed me up? She flew in and she had home meetings for me. And even after she left, she was on the phone following up with my people because I didn't know how to do it. And I'm telling you, she made some huge sacrifices flying from Boise to California back and forth. And even when I was like getting on to, uh, geez, week eight, I mean, you can imagine what your calendar looks like week eight. You saw week three. I mean, it was insanely crazy. And I, I didn't even know if I could keep doing it because I was exhausted. I was excited, but I was exhausted. And man, I remember her saying, Jen, just go to the mountains for the weekend. I'm coming in. I got your team. You guys, you've got to be servant leaders. You've got to care about your people. When you take that 499, you've got to look in their eyes, and you've got to know that you're going to take care of them. You're going to go to battle for them. You're going to go to war for them. And I'm going to tell you right now, as you get to know your people and you get to know why they're doing ACN, and you start seeing them promoted to these positions, and you see them save their house out of foreclosure, and you see moms come home with their kids, and you see... Um, gentlemen who have just been beaten up by the economy, when you see them get back into the income that they were used to making and get their, get their dignity and their pride back, and you see folks reti uh, retire that should have retired a long time ago, and all these miracles just start happening all around you guys, I'm going to tell you right now, the money is incredible. The millions of dollars we've made in ACN are incredible. But I would tell you, I would give it all away, every stupid penny, for the people that we have come to know and love in this business. I would trade it in a second. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to grab your pen, and I want you to go to the workbook that we were on the page one of my training. Okay? And we're going to just take a minute, and I'm going to give you a call to action. Now, first 120 days, crazy. Okay? Month eight, Darren quit the book fairs and the dental practice. We had 120 hours of him back into our house. Is that cool? Yes. Do you think things got a little easier? Oh, heck yeah. And then we just kept running. It was great. Okay? But here's what I want. First of all, I want to know no, no BS and no fooling around. I want to know who actually is committed to run out TC no matter where you are today. In the next 90 days, I'm making it happen. Okay, I actually want you to stand up. Now, if you aren't committed to it, don't stand up. And it's okay. We all have different circumstances, you guys. It is not wrong to make it take longer. But I want to see the ones that are going to do the 90-day run. And congratulations, by the way. Okay? Now. Go ahead and sit down. And for all of you, whether you're running in 90 days or not, I want you to grab that and go back to that first page. And I want you to write down. Um, so slide one. <laughs> Can somebody take me to slide one? My first slide. There it is. I want you to write down what kind of time you're committed to per week. Okay? I, I want you to make an actual decision. This is how many hours a week I'm going to work ACN.
Okay, and I want you to just write something down. I want you to write something down that you're going to stick by, like you're going to be committed to this. And then I want you to write down what income level you are committed to create in your life. What income per month am I committed to create? What am I going to sacrifice to do it? Is it TV? Is it being on the paintball team? Is it going to lunch with my girlfriends? Is it giving up the gym? I was just telling somebody I put on 27 pounds on my run, guys. Cool beans, we gave up the gym and like ate like a horse. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to have to give up. And then what is your promotion date? Write it down. I don't want to hear 90 days. I want to know the date. I don't want it to be before the next national. I want to know the date. What date? I want you to know the day of the week. I want to know the month. And I want to know the date. And here's what I'm going to tell you guys. When is it? Yeah, yell it out. I want to hear them. Everybody stand up. Okay, we're all going to say it together. We're going to start, we're going to say, I will be a TC by, and then we're going to all say our date at the same time. We're all going to say it. One, two, three. I will be TC by. Okay, now here's what you, you're going to do. We're going to leave tonight. You guys are going to live like your life depends on getting this done. I'm going to tell you why. Because you deserve it. You deserve to be a team coordinator. You deserve to be an RVP. You deserve to be an SVP. And I'm going to tell you what, your friends are watching you, your downline is watching you, and your kids are watching you. And I'm going to tell you today, when I brought my boys up, I was more grateful than I've ever been that I did not give up on myself. Do you see what these guys are doing? You guys, they're watching you. Go show them how to be your word and be your commitment and get something done. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go, but here's what you need to know about tomorrow morning. We're going to open the doors at 8.15. The training is going to start at exactly 8.30. And we are going to be opening up with, in my opinion, like I said, one of the best trainers. What time? Oh, but we're still open the doors at 8.15? 8.30? Oh, okay. Okay, doors open at 8.30. I'm getting all excited. But at 9 o'clock, Mr. Max Knowles is going to be kicking us off. Now, I don't know about you, but he had me so fired up earlier. His energy is insanely crazy. He is building so fast right now. Do not miss what he is going to be opening with. Go back to your rooms. Get a good night rest. We're going to see you in the morning. God bless you guys.